everyone. So today we're going to be talking about a tool called ThingLink. And ThingLink has been around for a while, but it's just recently picked up steam uh, with teachers in terms of using it in the classroom. So let's take a look at what ThingLink looks like. So I've created a picture here that I can give to students. And the great thing about this picture is that it's interactive. So if I'm talking about the water cycle with students, if I put my cursor over one of these dots, they can learn about transpir transpiration via a video. They can learn about condensation by visiting a website, or they can even hear me talk about precipitation. So how do you create your own thing link? Well, the first thing that you want to do is you want to open up your browser and type in www.thinglink.com and you'll be taken to the ThingLink site. Now, here's where you want to sign up for an account. Once you sign up for an account, you'll see a button that says Create. We're going to go ahead and tap on that button. And then you have some options here. You can upload images from your computer. You can import them from Facebook. You can import them from Flickr, or you can even bring them in from the web. So for our purposes today, I'm going to upload an image from my computer. And I'm going to choose this from my desktop. Now you'll see that the photo is uploaded. Now I have noticed lately, and I've tried a couple different browsers. For whatever reason, it doesn't load for me right away. So what I have to do is I go ahead and click save and I click on the close without tagging. Now once I do that, if I go back to the me button right here, it does show that my image was uploaded. So I'm just going to go ahead and tap on that image. And now I'm going to go ahead and click on edit. And when I do that, my image is here. Now to fit the screen, I can click fit, or I can make it bigger or smaller, depending on what I would like to do. So I'm going to go ahead and keep it about this size. And then to add a tag, I simply tap on the area of the screen where I would like to add an interactive tag for students. Over here on the left, you're going to see the edit tag option. And this is where I can put a description of what that tag is. I can put a link in for students. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to click on icon. And I'm just going to choose an icon so that when students go to my picture, they'll see the icon and know they have to tap there. Then I'm going to put in a website. And to do that, I'm just going to go out here and get my precipitation website. I'm going to copy the link and then go back to thing link and paste that link in. And I might put something under the description like precipitation. And maybe I'll even ask them a question. For example, give me three forms of precipitation. And then I'm going to click Save Tag. Now once I'm done, I can give this a name. And hit Save. And now when my students visit the site, they'll see right away where they can click. And they'll know that this area right here is precipitation. They can go to the website and find out about the different forms of precipitation. And as I stated before, you can put in a video, you can put in an audio file. It's very interactive. The other nice thing about ThingLink is that you can share it with others, and you can do that in many different ways. So you can either share it on a social media network, you can share it through a link on the internet, or you can even embed it into your Weebly, WordPress, or other website. Now I think this has a lot of potential for the classroom not only for teachers to showcase some of the, the topics that they're talking out about, but also for students to show what they're learning in class. They could create their own thing links. If they're studying maybe algebraic equations, they could actually walk you through an algebraic equation using sound files and maybe different videos that they've created. So there are a lot of great uses here. As always, if you have any comments or you want to share how you're using ThingLink, please let us know.